Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. Time for your daily dose of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. It's going to be another meme ship special today. I don't know. I just couldn't help myself. Uh, we'll get back to uh, tomorrow. We're going to start building some historic ships again uh, and taking them out for a spin. But for today, we're going to take one 1940 Spanish battleship at 5,000 meters and see how quickly we can sink 20 Austro-Hungarian 1890 battleships. So we're going to design one for maximum killing power. And the first thing we need to do actually is we need to go out and we need to unlock all technologies. That way we can get the big one. So we can get 120,000 displacement ship. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our super pagoda tower. We're going to put it on the back so we can load up a bunch of turrets in the front here. Uh, then we got to throw on a secondary tower and a funnel. So this is where it gets kind of weird looking because in order to get the funnel on, I guess we've got to move this up a little bit. We'll get modern secondary tower four. Oh, it's not going to let me put it there. So we may have to move this tower up to here after all to do this. because I want to be able to throw the funnel in that same area. Can we get a medium super funnel in there? Yeah, we can. Okay. So that should do that. Now let's see what we can get for barbettes. So we can do a little bit of super firing. I think we might even be able to throw another one in there somewhere. So we should be able to get a bunch of main guns. I'm thinking though at that level, um, a couple of main guns, but then also some secondaries are going to be helpful. So let's throw a bunch of 8-inch secondary guns on here because 8-inch might be able to sink ships like that. Eh. That one's going to be in the way of that. But we can throw another one right here. It's obviously going to hurt their ability to get a lot of range of fire, but that's okay. Wait, wait, wait. Because we can come a little closer than that. All right, so there we go with that. But we've got room for lots more secondaries. So, can't, I don't think we can get six inches. Oh, yeah, we can get sixes on some of these. All right. Then let's see where we can put fives, if anywhere. I think we're probably down to fours. Now, these are threes. All right. Not a problem. We'll still, we'll still get them. Lots of threes on this pagoda tower. I'm not sure how much the threes are going to do, but they are 1890 ships, so it's possible. All right, so there's our firepower there. What else can we do? We can reduce range. We don't need that. We'll get everything maxed out here. Cost is a non-factor. Weight is the only thing we need to worry about, but honestly... I don't see armor even really being necessary in this case. I mean, we will get some armor just to protect our guns and our aiming and everything. Um, HE shell damage, 50% bonus. Yep. Lidite one it is. I don't think super heavy shells are even necessary, but we'll use them just because... Um, because of the secondaries. All right, we're good on everything there. We do have lots of weight available to us. So let's throw it all on our towers, our turrets. 20 inches of, of armor on secondaries seems a bit excessive. We'll get 10 inches of deck armor. That should be more than enough. 30 inches on the belt. 12 on belt extended. That will go a little bit less than that. 
Let's make sure we're good on engine efficiency. We are. Is there anything I'm forgetting? No, I don't think so. I think we're good on everything else. All right, let's do this. Firme is the name of the ship. Okay, 20 battleships. How quickly can we sink them? Of course, we're going away, so we'll need to get turned around. We'll get slowed down for best accuracy possible. High explosives. So, ten, you know, 10 hours of mission time. There's our first sinking. We'll see how long it takes in mission time. I'm not going to keep track of real time. We still haven't been able to get turned around. I just want to get turned so I'm facing this way here. We'll speed up until we do that. Oh my goodness, look at all those hits. That was secondaries there. There's two. We haven't even gotten most of our mains on able to fire yet. I just want to watch these secondaries rip off some shots. There's three. So three in the first two minutes of mission time. Oh, that's amazing. There's four. Five. All right. Just think if I was right in the middle of these guys. There's six. If I was right in the middle, I'd be doing this faster. All right, let's get over here and get a look at what's happening. Look at that. <laughs> sinking, 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 sinking. How many can we have sinking at the same time? only I were closer. Uh, you know what I want to do here? Cease fire, cease fire. No, we don't want to cease fire because the goal here is to see how quickly we can do this. I wanted to wait until I got into the middle of them. Maybe next time I should do this at a thousand meters and see how quickly I can do it. That's like a, a machine gun. That's fantastic. our distance we're at eight kilometers hello goodbye there's another one all right I think we'll stay at this angle here oh that is so beautiful yeah if we'd been closer this would have been even faster Aggressive. There's another one. Could you imagine if this happened in real life? I mean, really. Everybody's just wondering who's going to be the next one. Poor Austro-Hungarians. Oh. There's just no break in the fire at all because of all those secondaries. The Habsburg. Interesting. So 
this one's surviving a little bit longer. We're at nine minutes of game time, or uh, mission time. Oh, here comes the death. Oh. There's the Prinz Eugen. Austrian this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left. So we're still sinking more than one per minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. We've sunk 13 in 11 minutes. Let's go back and watch watch the fun from from my ship again. Oh, that's glorious. Goodness. We need to turn a little bit. We actually had a little bit of a slowdown in the rate at which I'm sinking I'm sinking these guys. There we go. So we're at 15 minutes, and there's five to go, six to go. Yeah, that took a little while to get that one. Come on, I wanted to do this in under 20 minutes. I guess that may not happen. Let's try armor piercing. It's may maybe we're just not getting the penetration with the secondaries that I'd like. You can see I've got 378 completely blocked. We've switched targets now. Yeah, there you go. Overpen. Well, if we wanted to do this in less than 20 minutes, we've got to sink these next four in two minutes, and I don't think that's happening. Oh, three. I guess just three now. No, nope, there's four. But yeah, armor piercing is doing the job faster, it seems. It's probably the way to go. Because those secondaries get a lot more damage that way. The Budapest. My wife's grandfather's family came from Budapest. I feel kind of badly about this.
Oh, we switched targets again. There we go. That was a quick, quick and easy one. Yeah, we definitely get better hits on the secondaries with AP. Alright, so this is going to have taken 23 minutes to sink 20 battleships. I think we can do better. So we're going to try high TNT shells this time. Instead of the Lidite 1, instead of trying to go for the explosives, I want to go for the better uh, ability to penetrate. You can see you had less, uh, much less penetration with the other ones. So we'll try this with high explosives. Because we should get much better penetration this time. I didn't want to have to go out and restart the entire thing to change the distance. But it looks like my distance is better anyway. Let's get turned as quickly as we can. Once I get turned and I can get my secondaries going, this should go faster. There's two. Oh, it just takes so long to turn. Agonizing. There's three. I'm going to slow down so that I'm not traveling so far away from him. Actually, we're just going to... Once I get to where I want to be, I'm just going to sit tight. There's four. Four in two and a half minutes. So far, so good. TNT, definitely better. Much better. There's five. Six. Six in just over three minutes. Seven. Oh my gosh. There should be eight. Yep. Of course, the other ones are going to be further away, so it may take a little longer. Once I get the angle I want, I'm going to stop. Alright, I think we're there. I'll stop. Sit tight. Oh man, that's beautiful. One, two, three, four, one there, five, six. We're firing secondaries at one while we fire the main guns at another. How many left? Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've sunk 13. No, there's one there. We sunk 12 in, and now it's 13 in six minutes. Two a minute.
Maximilian's next. Or maybe not. I guess we switch targets. Switch back to AP, see what happens. Oh, lovely. So that one took a little longer. It leaves us with six. Big explosion there. Ammo detonation. 3,900 damage. Another ammo detonation. That leaves four ships. If we hadn't had that lull in the action, I might have done 20 in 10 minutes. So we did 17 in 10 minutes. All from a pretty good distance. We're actually losing. Why were they? Oh, I still had the rudder going. That's why they kept turning to the right. So that probably slowed me down too. And then there were two. All right, we've got to, got to get a good look at my ship doing its thing before we're done here. the lucky one Ferdinand Max looks like it's gonna be 13 minutes here come the eight inches let's see if they'll do it Here comes. All right. <laughs> that was just a little bit of fun for today. We'll get back to the serious stuff tomorrow. We'll come back with some more historic battles, some historic ships. Throw out your ideas. Use the comment section below, and we'll try to get those in for you. Thanks for watching.